Okay guys, in a lot of my videos y'all ask what knots I use and a lot of the rigs I use, but today I'm going to show you three of the most important knots that I use in catfishing. Um, today we're just going to, we're, we're anchoring up and we're using a Carolina rig, so I'm going to tie a Carolina rig and show you what knots and where I put them. First thing I want to do is stick uh, a slip sinker, an egg sinker, or a, a no roll like I've got here on my 65 pound braided line. The next thing I want to do is, is take about 10 inches and loop this braided line and create a loop. We're then going to stick the swivel through the loop. This is a polymer knot that we're going to use on the, the main line. And just tie like an overhand knot one time leaving the loop out here by itself what we want to do now is reach through our loop and grab the swivel and then pull both lines your tag line and your main line and cinch it up now I'll grab just a main line and tighten it up we want to cut this tag in off we don't want to leave it long because it will tangle up and make a mess of things We'll cut that off. That's our first knot, polymer knot. Well, the next one I'm going to tie is a clinch knot or improved clinch knot. What I want to do is stick my main line. It's the 50 pound monofilament. This is a leader line. I'll stick it in and have about, I don't know, three to four inches. And we want to twist about five or six times. I know a lot of the manuals say twist it seven times, but with this big 50 pound test, it's not necessary, as long as you got it five or six times. Now we got it twisted, you want to bring the, the tag in through the loop that's at your knot. And then we want to drag this tag in back through this loop and tighten it up. Now before you get it real tight, a lot of guys like to get it wet, there's no other quicker way to do it besides lick it and then pull it. And now you want to cut the tag in off of that. That's going to be your improved clinch knot. Now the last knot we're going to tie is the hook. And it's going to be a snail knot. We're going to put the tag in through. Now this snail and my your snail and my snail may be two different snails. I think I call this the reverse snail because it's I don't I don't do it like other other folks do. But send it through the line, your uh, eye of the hook, and make a loop, and hold it with your thumb. Now what I do is take and run my tag in around the hook and through that loop four or five times. This may be the correct way to do a snail, I don't know, I just this is how I've done it for years and years. And then we just pull the tag in and the main line and cinch it up. And you really should really use some cutters, but I use my teeth most of the time. That's it, Carolina rig. We have a snail on the hook, a clinch knot on the swivel on the leader line and a polymer knot to the swivel to the main line. That's my rig. I've had a lot of questions on uh, circle hooks this month. It seems like uh, people are not getting hooked up with circle hooks. And I'm going to show you my little tip or trick that I use to uh, get better hookup. The shank and the tip is, is straight. What you want to do is offset that hook 